Hello and welcome to your season of power and authority. Let me say that again. Welcome to your season of power and authority, declares the Lord. While I was praying and seeking the Lord in fasting, the Lord told me God is going to give his children dominion over earth once again. God is going to give you dominion over the things that has been ruling you for a long period of your life. Deuteronomy 15 verse 6 says, For the Lord your God will bless you as he has promised. You will rule over many nations and nations will not rule over you. What a glorious promise for us to hold on to as we enter into a season of power and authority. In other words, this has always been the plan of God for his children on this earth. The Bible even says in the book of 1 John 4, 4, For you, dear children, are from God, and you have overcome them, that he that is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. What a glorious promise for us to be reminded that we are not from this world, but we are from God. Whoever is from God has an access to inherit the power and authority that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible even says in Luke 17, 21, the kingdom of God is within you. The Bible even goes on to say in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20, the kingdom of God is not a lot of talk, but it is living by God's power. I want you to understand that. Without the power of God, authority will not operate in this system. Without you having to have an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ himself, you will not be able to exercise the authority that you would desire to have in this world. In other words, authority and power comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew 28, 18, Jesus said, all authority on the heaven and earth has been given to me. The Bible says in John 3, 35, Because Father loved him, he gave everything into his hands. Which means Father has given everything into the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ, in return, the Lord Jesus Christ has given us the power and authority to live for his glory on this earth. In Matthew 10 verse 1, Jesus called 12 of his disciples and he gave them power and authority over unclean spirits so that they can walk around, heal every kind of sickness and every kind of diseases. And lo and behold, when they went out and they were doing the ministry, this power and authority was so evident in their lives by the signs and wonders that took place. And clean spirits listened to them the demonic spirits left the people that it was tormenting them people who are bonded with sickness God delivered them out of all kinds of sickness because the Lord Jesus Christ gave his disciples the power and authority which was in him my dear brothers and sisters it is available for you you just got to ask him and say, Lord, you said ask and it shall be given. Let me ask of you this. I want to inherit the power and authority that is found in you. As I am found in you, Lord Jesus Christ, may I also abound in your love and walk in the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. The authority on which that Jesus crushed the forehead of Satan. Lord Jesus, let me have a part of what you are willing to give me. Lord, if not all, let me start with some today. I desire to have the power and authority that Jesus Christ walked on this earth with. Lord, that is my desire and that is my prayer today that I will walk in the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Bible says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 12, Jesus said, truly, truly, I say unto you, if you believe in me, you will not only do the things that I did, you will do greater things than I did. My dear brothers and sisters, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not only do the things that Jesus did, you will even do greater than he says in scripture. What more do you want? All you got to do is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, believe in the ability of the Lord Almighty. Number three, understand the intensity of this power and authority that is divine in nature. Walk humbly before God to destroy the work of Satan. Bible says in 1 John 3 verse 8, very, very clearly, for Christ came for one purpose, to destroy the works of the evil one. And because you are the child of God, you now have the access to the same power and authority. Because you are the child of God, you have the purpose of God in your life, whereby you will carry out the mandate of God's kingdom on this earth for his glory. When disciples ask the Lord, Lord teaches how to pray. And this is then how the Lord taught them to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of heaven will not come on earth without you accessing the power and authority. The people went around raising the dead, healing the sick, casting out demons, says the scripture in Mark chapter 16, verse 17, all the way to 20. It is simply because they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe in the word that came out of the mouth of God. They believe that everything was possible to the one who believes is possible. They believe that nothing is impossible for God. They believe in the ability of the Almighty and they began to walk in the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 to 19, He said, Upon this rock I will build my church and gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You are the church that Christ is building up on this earth. And God is telling, gates of hell shall never and ever prevail against you. And God also said, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosened in heaven. The Lord your God is willing to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven today. Walk in the authority of God. Practice the power of God diligently because power is procured and authority is allocated and exercised on an everyday basis. My brothers and sisters, welcome to your season of power and authority. The Lord your God will bless you as he has promised. You will rule over many nations and the nations will not rule over you. What more do you want? I want you to submit your life to Jesus Christ. I want you to understand that God is willing to give you the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Even today, if you are willing to ask of him, he is willing to give it to you freely. My dear brothers and sisters, I pray and prophesy over you that God will use you to appoint leaders. I pray and prophesy over you that my God will use you to uproot the kingdom of devil and plant the kingdom of God on this earth for his glory. I pray and prophesy over you that every demonic oppression in your family shall lose its power today. I pray and prophesy over you the mentality of inadequacy shall leave you for good. I pray and prophesy over you that every inability shall cease 
to exist in your life. I pray and prophesy over you. Poverty will no longer have its effect in your life. I pray and prophesy over you. God will make you the head, not the tail. You will stand and you will declare the glory of God. Wherever my God has positioned you today, my brothers and sisters, this is my prayer and this is my sincere prayer that whoever is watching me, I believe that you will receive the power of God, that you will walk on the authority that Christ is willing to give you today to uproot the work of witchcraft, to tear down the strongholds, to break every scheme of the evil one and declare freedom over the lives of the people and over yourself. I pray and prophesy over you, even as nations are raging war against one another, you will declare freedom. I even pray and prophesy over you, when husband and wife are wanting to separate, the minute you step inside that house, God of peace shall come and reunite them in Jesus' mighty name. Every witchcraft that has been taking root for generation, even to the tune of four generations, when you step into the house, that evil spirit will lose its power in Jesus mighty name. I pray and prophesy that you will begin to see fruitfulness in your business. You will begin to experience prosperity. You will begin to experience abundance. You will begin to experience dominion over everything that has ruled you for such a long time. And enough is enough. My God is declaring over you that from today you will in the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rise up. Wake up or slumber. My God is willing to use you. My God is willing to honor you. My God is willing to elevate you for his glory. When you realize and understand that you can't do anything in this world without God. That you can't do anything in this world without the power and authority authority of the Lord Jesus Christ you will begin to kneel down wherever you are you will begin to lift your hands to heaven and cry out Lord my father I need your power I need your authority I need your touch I need your wisdom I need to walk on this earth with your power and I want to rule this earth and I will no longer let the world rule my mind Rule my emotions, rule my family, rule my career, rule my business, and rule my family. Lord, my Father, you are faithful enough to do it for your children. Come now and grant them power and authority. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everybody say, Amen. The Lord told me, as nations are raging war against one another, you will speak peace. The Lord told me that you will uproot the kingdom of the evil one and you will plant the kingdom of the Lord in this earth to his glory. I have many more prophecy to tell. Please tune into the page so that you can watch the prophetic videos later on. Because God has released many prophetic words. I will stop with just this two. But let this two take shape in your life. As you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you begin to practice the power of God. Exercise the authority of God in every day of your life. May the good Lord bless you and cause you to be a blessing. May you and your household shall be established before God. So that you will expand and establish your influence around the world for his glory. We love you and we thank God for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful season of power and authority in the Lord. Take care.